Hey, this is the astrology for March 20th, 2017. At the point of the vernal equinox, also known as the Aries point, or zero degrees Aries, the sun steps into the first sign of the zodiac. On this day, in which we witness equal amounts of darkness and light, we begin our slow turn towards the oncoming light of spring and summer. This day is matched by the autumnal equinox, which serves the same purpose and function, but towards the other way when we turn towards the darkness and the coming of fall and winter. The Aries point is a powerful degree in astrology in that it signals the beginning. Having made its journey around the sun and all of its zodiacal signs, the earth returns to this yearly point of departure, and so we begin. At the same time, we see Mercury and Venus in retrograde and Uranus all in the sign of Aries. This cluster of planets delivers a distinctly active and highly focused period of time, not only for all Aries, but also for other cardinal signs, Cancer and Capricorn by square, challenging, and Libra by opposition, as well as the other fire signs, Leo and Sagittarius, by trine or harmonious. With all that in mind, we may come to recognize the potential that lingers in such a placement. Although squares, 90 degrees, are challenging, generally speaking, they also hold the promise of fulfillment through hardship. As mentioned many times here, the true outcome of a challenge is the reward. If the roof did not leak, we would not fix it, so we come to a time with those who are challenged can be motivated to alter their trajectory or rise to the occasion by making significant progress. To elaborate on this influence, we see the collection of planets as a banded energy a bundle that is truly focused on something startling and revelatory, such as a concentration of planets. We might expect to see something boldly revolutionary and shocking. The sun shines its light on details and communications as Mercury sidles up to the same degree. As Venus, now in retrograde, lingers in the same arena, area, we might be looking at a reconsideration <clears throat> of a prior decision that now comes under intense scrutiny. As with all retrogrades, this is a point in time where we review all that has covered, occurred, and come up with an alternate outcome. With so much uncertainty in the current political climate and many influential countries, this planetary alignment points to a peeling back of the covers. <clears throat> it is no small irony that this alignment falls completely in place with the current headlines across the globe. This is how astrology works, and this is why astrology delivers an accurate depiction of the state of affairs in both our personal lives and that of the greater populace. In this regard, astrology is reflective of what we are experiencing on the planet. It provides validation for how, why, where, what, and when. Hard to believe, but true. We are in that time, right? And that astrology is perfect for what we're seeing. Listen each week to Turning the Wheel podcast, podcast <laughs> on iTunes. Interesting topics, great guests, information you can use. Call or write to me for a reading. My website is turningofthewheel.com and turningofthewheel.tv. And I'll speak to you all next week. We are headed into a really, really revolutionary spring. <laughs> Take care.